Uh, with the new commander, he decided that we go back to it at a, at a, at a more in-depth uh, sort of way. So um, since yesterday we have been doing uh, the precinct one area, and today we are in the precinct two area. Uh, next week we'll be doing St. Martin and all these other area in the, um, behind the complex. And the reason for our meet and greet is to get a feedback from the public, how they see the officers and what we could do to make their life a little better. Where, where security is concerned from the police side. So, are you finding that, are you guys finding that, you know, residents are what, forthcoming, uh, uh, receptive to what the officers are doing in the area? You know, uh, uh, since I'm, I've been out for the last two days, I have not found one negative uh, family uh, such. Of course, I have a little issue that uh, in, in, in some cases they want to see a little more patrol, and we will ensure that that happens. Um, what we find a lot, in, especially in this area, is the lighting condition. The people are complaining with the lampposts that are not uh, lit, uh, lit, and the bush, the high bush. So what we'll do at the end of this um, meet and greet session, we'll, put, we'll compile a report and we'll send a copy to the BEL people and the city council who are responsible for those areas, and we'll do follow-up to see how best we could assist these people with um, cleaning somebody's yard and lighting up some of the lampposts. Sir, is it only these, uh, would it be fair to say that it's hot spots that you guys are targeting? Well, we're not really. We're looking at the area where, where um, the crime are more uh, vulnerable, where it's more, um, the higher area as such. But not really hot spot because we're visiting all the area. As, uh, here I was on Lewis Bevan Street and I was into the other little streets. You know, this is what we want to reach everywhere because we really want to get a true picture of what the people think about the police and how best we or what we could do better. Now, one of the things that we're seeing is that um, most of these crimes are uh, major and um, the others are, are committed by the younger uh, generation, uh, these youths. Uh, um, what, how are you guys reaching to them? Because I know you go to the older heads, you know, of course, they're law-abiding citizens, but it may be, it, it seems that it's the youths that are the ones giving trouble. To be honest to you, if anybody could change the mentality of youth, it's the mothers and fathers. We reach out to youth through the 